Welcome back to another episode of the Off Night Podcast. I'm your host, Model. Thank you guys for listening wherever you may be. You guys know why we're here. Super Bowl recap time. Kansas City Chiefs defeated the Philadelphia Eagles 38-35. to um, Good game. Good game to watch. Uh, congratulations to the Kansas City Chiefs. Second Super Bowl in four years for Patrick Mahomes and Andy Reid and in the, in that, in that Kansas City Chiefs team. Uh, first, let's get right into it, by the way. First thing I noticed, the catches from the tight end stuck out to me. The shoestring check, the, the shoestring catch from um, Travis Kelsey. I was wow. I just I, in real time, I was watching it with my daughter. In real time, I said, "Wow, that was a hell of a catch." Um, the catches that Dallas got her. Oh my God! I didn't some some of those some of the best catches I've seen on a, on a Super on any stage, uh, let alone a Super Bowl stage. So Dallas got her. Um, earned a lot of respect for me from some of them catches. Um, that he that he that he uh, that he caught in the Super Bowl, and Travis Kelsey, you know, he's rising up that ranks of, you know, he's in that Tony Gonzalez area, he's get, he's getting up he's getting up there in that in that in the Grunk Grunk uh, the Grunkowski as far as that tight end conversation, he's right up there, he's top five right now for sure. Is he number one? I don't know. A couple more years, we might have to have this conversation. For me, Tony Gonzalez is the best tight end I've ever seen with my eyeballs. That's and that's just me. Travis Kelsey keep this up, I might have to revisit that. Personally, I might have to revisit that. So that's the first thing I noticed. One thing that the world is talking about is the referee uh, call. First of all, it was a hole. Let's be clear. What nobody is talking about um, is the call that they missed early in the game but with the same two players, Juju Smith-Schuster and Bradbury, where he clearly held them. He held them way more than he held them in that fourth quarter hole, and they didn't call it. And he held them again. Not so much like he did in the first in the early in the game, but a whole nonetheless. And you know they they made the right call. It is what it is. The referees made the right call for for a change. It, they wasn't this this was not a bad call. It was the call. A lot of people are mad that the call was made at the point in the game. It doesn't matter. The referee's job is to call the right call when they see, especially when they see it. They saw it. They called it. Um, now in my opinion, the flag was a little late. It was a tick late. You had Patrick Mahomes lobbying for it, pointing, and it was a tick late, in my opinion, but it was the right call, nonetheless. We're not gonna, a lot of people like to beat up on referees for making the wrong call. Let's look at this another way. He made the right call. Right call was made. Um, so let's let's put that to bed. But nobody talks about Juju Smith-Schuster actually was cooking Bradbury the whole game. Bradbury probably felt the need to hold. He made one move, and Bradbury, if Bradbury didn't hold him, he would have been wide open, and it would have been a touchdown anyway. So, I, so it depends on how you want to look at it. A lot of people want to say that Patrick Mahomes overthrew it, um, but the fact that he was held slowed him down a little bit. Uh, but, you know, out of Bradbury didn't have a shot. He had to hold him at that point. But um, so it is what it is. Um, and here's a message to the Eagles fans. Eagles fans, you had a good season. You still have a good team. I know they want to talk about the free agents that they have. They're going to retain some of them. Some of them are going to walk. This is what happens when you have a good team. You can't pay them off. It is what it is. Howie Roseman put together a, a fabulous team, the best roster in the NFL this year. There's no fluke that you guys made it to the Super Bowl. Howie Roseman drafts well for the most part. So I think the Eagles are going to do good in the draft. I think they're going to retain some of those players that they uh, that's going to be free agents. I think they're going to, some of those players are going to avoid free agency. Um, even as even even let's say you lose all the free agencies, that's how he Roseman drafts so well, and he uses the free agency so well that I still think the, the Eagles are a top five, top three, top five team going into the NFC, going into next in the NFC, going into next season. Who else is going to overtake them? Who else is going to debunk them and move them out of the playoff conversation? The Vikings? Hell no. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers? We don't even know who their quarterback is going to be. The Dallas Cowboys probably should be good next year. 49ers, very likely to be good next year. But that's the conversation. Eagles, 49ers, Cowboys, again, next year. You got to include the Vikings. I get it. Type Tampa has a good roster, but we know they need a quarterback. Right? It'll be interesting to see what the Saints are going to do. The Giants are filling themselves. The Bears feel like they can make that next step. The Lions feel like they're right on the... So, even in those teams I'm talking about, the Eagles are still at the top... They, they, they're top shelf in the NFC still going into next season. You still got Jalen Hurts. So celebrate the fact that you had an amazing season. Celebrate that. You had an amazing season, period. This was a ride. You were an Eagles fan. You had, a, you had, an, you had an amazing 
season. You didn't get it done in the Super Bowl, but you also you only lost by three points. Jalen Hurts played his ass off. He played a hell of a game. I'm going to talk about Jalen Hurts a little bit later. But also, oh, yeah, I want to talk about both quarterbacks, but I'm going to start with Patrick Mahomes. It's it's it, before this game, it was it was it was signed and sealed for me. Patrick Mahomes is the best quarterback in the NFL, and it's not even close to me. This is me. You can talk about Joe Burrow. You can talk about Josh Allen. You can talk about Jalen Hurts. You can talk about Kirk Cousins. You can talk about Dak Prescott. You can talk about all of them, all of them. Aaron, you can talk about Aaron Rodgers. You can talk about everybody. Patrick Mahomes is head and shoulders the best quarterback in the NFL right now, and it's not even close. It's not even close. That's first. That's the first quarterback for the Kansas City Chiefs. The next quarterback, the Eagles should sign Jalen Hurts this summer, or at the at the soon at the earliest convenience that they possibly can do it. Right. Everybody knows that uh, that. Lamar, everybody's looking to see what Jamar, Lamar Jackson is going to get. I've heard that the Cincinnati Bengals are, are really are ready to offer Joe Burrow to up the he's going to, they're going to up the quarterback market to offer him close to two ninety five or three hundred million dollars. That's just a little little rumor that I heard myself personally that Joe Burrow might hit that three hundred uh, million quarterback market. So outside of that, the quarterback market seems to be about two hundred and fifty million for everybody not named Patrick Mahomes. That's what it seems like where the market is right now. And I think with Jalen Hurts, I think the Eagles are so much better off getting getting a deal done with Jalen Hurts now than letting them put together two or three more seasons like this. Because then, then, you know, his number goes into the stratosphere. You want it, the, the, the best possible deal for the Eagles is done now. The best possible deal for Jalen Hurts will be done maybe a year or two years from now. If I'm the Eagles, I want to get it done now. I want to see if I can get them for 220, 225. Maybe 195 guaranteed. And then you can still build your team with Jalen Hurts. Now, if he gets into that 250, 300 million dollar market, two, uh, 300 million dollar market, you know, it can get interesting because you want to you want to keep Devontae Smith. He's going to he's going to want a big payday. Dallas Goddard is one of the top, in my opinion, he's one of the top tight ends in the league. He's going to want tight top tight end money. The offensive line is aging, but if they want to play a few more years, they're going to have to get top lineman money because they're the best in the game. Some of the best in the game at their position. You know, do you keep Darius Slay? Some of the, a lot of those, def- one of the, the best defensive, one of the best defensive lines in history. Those guys are going to want to get paid. Sweat's going to want to get paid. Hargrave's going to want to get paid. So, the Eagles need to sign him now, then later. But, again, overall, Good Super Bowl to watch. Uh, again, the AFC runs through Patrick Mahomes. I don't care how you look at it. Y'all can pipe up whoever y'all want. The Josh Allen, the Joe Burrows. Y'all can do whatever y'all want. The, 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 NFL, the NFL runs through Patrick Mahomes right now. The AFC for sure. But it seems like if you want a Super Bowl title in, 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 in this NFL, the man's only 27 years old. It seems like if you want a Super Bowl title, you're going to have to beat Patrick Mahomes at some point. Rather it's in the Super Bowl, rather it's in the championship game. You gotta go through them at one point. So it is what it is. Thank you guys for listening. Please make sure you rate, subscribe, and review. That'd be greatly, 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 greatly appreciated. I'm over and I'm out of here, man. A lot of things, a lot of other things to talk about. MLB season is around the corner. NBA make sure you check out Models NBA show. Got a lot of NBA stuff to talk about. Um we want to be getting into the second half of the season. Things are getting interesting. You know I love my golf. Boxing, Cinco de Mayo's coming up. I heard some stuff about Canelo. A lot, a lot of stuff. Make sure you subscribe. Check it out. I'm going to be dropping episodes all over the place. I'm telling you. So you, you don't want to miss this. Um, again, I'm over and I'm out of here, man. See you guys next time.